Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Amy DuPont. Well, imagine facing a life-threatening diagnosis only to be told by your insurance company that you can't get the medicine you need when you need it. It is a practice known as white bagging and it's happening to people all over the state. Now a proposed law named after an Eau Claire woman could put an end to it. Mike is here with that story. Amy, this new bill would stop insurance companies from making it more difficult for patients to get the medicine they need, in many cases, just to survive. Kareen Holmes of Eau Claire is a wife, mom, and a fighter. In January, at 35 weeks pregnant, she found out she had stage 3 triple negative breast cancer. I think it was the very last thing that we would have ever expected is that I would have breast cancer, especially being pregnant. At just 32 years young, Kareen was forced into the battle of her life, her family, her soldiers by her side. We were like in our third term of pregnancy, you know, getting prepared to deliver a baby soon, I mean a month away, and then all of a sudden fast track that because we've got three days to deliver this child of ours. Kareen ended up delivering a healthy baby boy. Less than a week later, she started chemotherapy treatments. I think of myself as a very optimistic, happy person and you know, I put all of my faith in God and he's getting me, he's getting me through this. But as if fighting one of the most aggressive forms of breast cancer wasn't enough. It's unfair, honestly, it's really unfair. Kareen had another fight on her hands. As a cancer patient, I shouldn't, this should be the last thing that I have to deal with. Her insurance company told her care team in the middle of her treatment they were no longer going to pay for the medication provided by her hospital. It came as a total surprise. Instead, the medicine would have to come from a specialty pharmacy chosen by the insurance company. It's a practice known as white bagging. It came out of the blue. It was put on us in the middle of the year. I was already going through treatment and everything. All of a sudden, to be told that we were not going to be able to do the next treatment, the anxiety and the emotions that set in, I got to feel that from her, um, and so then that made me realize how important it was that we get this fixed. The Wisconsin Hospital Association is seeing white bagging happening more and more across the state over the last 8 to 12 months. We've heard cases where um, the patient's treatment has been delayed so, t so many times because of this that they've decided to stop treatment altogether because they just feel like it's too much for them. According to a recent nationwide survey, 83% of hospitals said that specialty medicines delivered to them through white bagging did not arrive on time. Another 66% of hospitals reported receiving the wrong dose. The drug comes for a specific patient. So now all of a sudden you've got all these you sort of drugs coming, you've got to find storage for them, and often they don't arrive on time. Republican State Representative Tony Kurtz of Wanawak is a co-author of Kareen's Law. It's the effort of the insurance companies to save money because let's, let's be honest, these drugs are a tremendous amount of money. Um, what bothers me about it and why I got involved is, you know, the patient in the end of the day is suffering. And oftentimes when white bagging is used, Kurt says life-saving medication ends up going to waste. The problem is that medicine was based on your condition five days ago. So now that medicine might have might arrived it might be ready for you, but you're not ready for it. And guess what? They can't use that medicine. Just kind of honestly shows that they don't care. I mean, they don't know what we're going through and, and, and they don't care. Kareen never expected to become the face of a proposed new law. I want to advocate for other people who can't do it for themselves. But now that she is, she wants to do everything in her power to make sure it passes. Helping people potentially save their lives is, is what matters to me. And some hospitals won't even let these drugs inside of their buildings. They wow. just are banning them all together. As for Kareen, she's lucky. She had her insurance company give her a 90-day extension, and her mm -hmm. treatment was wrapping up by then. So mm -hmm. she was lucky, but she knows that other people are not as fortunate as her. So mm -hmm. this bill currently has a lot of bipartisan support, more than 80 co-sponsors signed on right now. And also, we did try to contact the Wisconsin Association of Health Plans for comment, and they did not return our calls. Wow. Uh, I've heard of this, but I've not heard from one person to explain like what it was like. I what can't imagine is. being like, sorry, it's not here. Come back later because that's not how those treatments work. Right, right in the middle of your treatment, too. It wasn't like she knew this up front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was right in the middle of the treatment. And how is she doing today? She's doing well. Yeah, okay. the cancer is uh, at bay right now. Okay. So, yeah, we're wishing her the best. Awesome.